Apple sets WWDC 24 kickoff date for June 10. Big news. Big, big news. Yeah, we knew it was coming right around then, but uh, now we have the exact date. On that date, Monday, June 10, there'll be the big live-streamed event that we're uh, so used to at this point. It's going to be the same kind of thing, you know, piece together, sort of infomercial, deluxe. They're going to tell us everything about uh, everything they got planned for this year, the the big uh, hint is that it's all going to be about ai but that's going to be the big focus, i think that's right? it man i think that's it that's going to be like the whole focus they just it's can't just ai everything they, AI they just all, day. all in on ai man all in ai all the day uh let's see so it's going to be you know like i said same format as last couple of years with a mixed online in-person event um so certain lucky people get invited there you know members of the press developers etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, Apple sent this press release out. Uh, what was it? Was it yesterday? My God, it seems like ages ago already. Uh, they said, free for all developers, WWDC 24 will spotlight the latest iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS, and Vision OS enhancements. Hey, I'm sorry, advancements, Apple said. Wow, they mentioned TV OS. That's a, <laughs> that's a little OS that could. <laughs> I, I don't it even know if it got, got a own, mention last time, did it? Yeah, it, it actually got its own segment last year. Did it? I don't even remember it. Yeah, for a whopping what? like two minutes. Yeah. Uh, didn't we have like a cult cast bingo? <laughs> we, and, we don't have to talk about that. And I won it, right? Because I said they were going to talk about <laughs> it. Some, somebody won it. You know, it could be anybody. <laughs> cult, I mean, I it could have been everyone, actually. but it, it was definitely me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. so the, the, the big hint, you know, I mean, we've all, you know, They've been talking up AI. Tim Cook mentioned AI. Big news coming later this year. It's yep. all these rumors anyway. But uh, it seems to be confirmed by a tweet from Greg Joswiak, Apple's senior VP of worldwide marketing. Uh, he sent out a tweet saying, mark your calendars for WWDC 24, June 10 to 14. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Capitalizing both Boy, of those. Boy, he knows how to get people hyped. Wow, what a, what a hint. <laughs> what, what a, a hype, man. <laughs> yeah. Who would have guessed? Uh, let's see, kind of the same deal as ever, you know, suppose, you know, they didn't really give us that much information, but, uh, if it goes as it does always, it'll be big, probably two hour nonstop breathless, uh, live stream thing. Uh, and if you're one of those lucky people who gets invited, you'll be sitting there, you know, out on this, out on the lawn at Apple park inside the circle, right. Uh, watching it on a big screen with everyone else. And, and I believe uh, Griffin, you got lucky a couple of years ago. We're down there. Right. And, and, Tim Cook didn't even come out to say hi, did he? Oh man. Yeah, it was it was a it was a good time. I was invited two years ago because I had at the time a registered Apple developer account. So I was one of the I was invited as developer. But as you know now, now that I'm here at Call to Mac full time, you know, Apple Apple invites press as well. You know, this is this is my solicitation to Apple. Hey, you should you should invite one of your favorite independent <laughs> Apple Tech blogs as press to this event. I totally and, agree. You know, and Landa Kenny should pay for me to fly out specifically, <laughs> because you know my my coverage of the the event two years ago it was it was a great time. I took all kinds of pictures. It was it was one of my top articles of the year. It was it was wonderful. You know, people got to see huh. pictures of the inside of Apple Park for the first time. The Developer Center. It was a great tour. You know, I had those the pictures of Tim Cook and Craig Federighi on stage, which, as you mentioned, wasn't part of the um, wasn't part of the live stream that everybody saw. You know, they, they have everybody on campus at Apple Park. They have all these, like, you know, great big rows of lawn chairs in front of this giant stage that they put up. And uh, before the live stream starts for everybody on the Internet, you know, some some Apple executives say their hellos. Got a lot of good pictures there. It would be it would be it would be great fun if I if, if Apple were to extend an invitation to to Cult of Mac. So you're saying you'd go. You're available. <laughs> yes, yes. I, so, I've been, so kind I've of been you, yeah. declining events that my friends have been inviting me to, <laughs> saying, hey, you never know. You never know. Dude, we, we used to get uh, invitations to this kind of stuff. Didn't didn't we, Lewis, at one point? I mean, especially Leander was like best buddies with some of the people there. Some, some of the high up people there. Like there was this one story that I shan't divulge the details of because he asked us not to. But there was a person at Apple who reached out to him that wanted to meet. And he dropped it casually that he was going to meet this person. And Lewis, I don't even know if you were around when this whole thing happened. And we were we were stunned, like <laughs> stunned, that this person had reached out and that and that uh, Leander was going to meet with them. What was it like gin and tonics with Johnny Ive? <laughs> I, I I can't say the details, but it nah. was a person. It was a person, and you would know the name. 
<laughs> and you would be surprised and delighted that Leanna got to meet with them. How have we ever gone to any of the WWDCs? I feel like we had in the past. Well, Griffin went, uh, but but know, that wasn't on behalf I, of Colt Mac, was it? Well, that's yeah. before Colt Mac. Yes, I mean, <laughs> maybe well, that's I mean, the secret. You got to quit. Pay for my plane ticket, so technically, I mean, I, you know, I can't keep straight like the exact events and whatever i mean we used to go they used to have it downtown san francisco we would always go there would be uh alt conf the ridiculously hard yeah. to pronounce thing alt conf yeah. i don't even know if they, they still do alt conf i thought it was dead i can't remember uh need, need to check after the show anyway uh so we would go hang out and meet people and do stuff down there and cover it you know but we didn't get invited inside when i was here i don't know about previous years but uh you know it at some point you just like Get tired of asking, right? And like, and yeah. I remember one time, the last time that I remember Leander going to a big Apple event, he came away so flummoxed because he he went down there and nothing would work. Like he couldn't, he couldn't even like he could barely send us a text message. Like the the whole oh, I internet that. was so overloaded. He 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 thought he'd go down there and provide live coverage, and 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 it turns out it's like oh, it's just way better sometimes to just uh, at least if you're trying to like cover what they say to just do it from home. I mean, it's kind of silly. In fact, that's this whole hybrid thing and and making all these uh, conferences street like it's actually way better for developers now, right? Because now developers can watch all of these things, all of these these really important, uh, you know, developery things that you know you and I probably don't really care too much about, but uh, explain exactly how to make the best possible app, and and they're all available to everybody worldwide. Whereas, you know. Five years ago or whatever, before the pandemic, it was like a golden ticket. You had to be invited. You were one mm-hmm. of, what, 5,000 people or something, mm-hmm. I think, is, is about Yeah, the and they would make the session invited. videos available after the fact. But again, having the session videos pre-recorded means that they don't have to fit, like, 40 minutes of instruction into, like, a 30-minute session. And, you know, they don't have to, like, stretch something out to fill an hour. Like, the session videos are much better now than they were, like, when they were recorded live on stage. Not least because the presenters don't have to worry about presenting in front of an audience. You know, it's just... Yeah. There's film in front of a camera crew, but that's not to diminish how awesome it would be if Colton, <laughs> you know, hey, you, you know, it, it used to be that you could, yeah, you could just, you know, walk into the San Jose Convention Center and like sort of half attend WWDC, but, you know, <laughs> you, you can't just waltz into Apple Park on <laughs> uh, with how they do it now. Not bring, unless you want to get tased. Up. Yeah. Bring some of those Batman, uh, what are those, batter, what are the things that you use to climb up a wall? Like Batarang? A- is that what it is? No, That's the batarang is the bat. Is the bat? Uh, right. What's like, what yeah. was it called? A bat. The bat wing hook. I, I, <laughs> I'm just adding bat to thing to words. I, I, I think one that's of these, what, uh, Yeah, that should be your next video. You uh, climbing up the Apple Park wall, filmed in the style of 1960s Batman. 